Ed DeRosa at Horse Racing Nation, joined by the Paddock Prince, David Levich, I assume, out in Oldham County, both in Kentucky and David about an hour and 15 minutes east of us on Wednesday. Quite the hullabaloo over the nightcap when Juan Machado, who looked destined for victory, turning for home and even inside the final 16th, stopped riding. We're all assuming he thought it was a first wire finish and got nipped at the wire. Uh, not how you want to lose. And I would dare say, even if you were on the winner, that's not really how you want to win races either. No, I wouldn't. I mean, if you won that race, it was more about what the rider of the runner up did. It was almost like hard to, I'm sure if you had the seven, it was almost hard to believe what you just saw. <laughs> but I mean, he obviously misjudged the finish line. I saw on, I saw on social media that they were saying like that he just didn't know. I'm like, he obviously misjudged the finish line because right when they crossed the first one, it was um it was rough, but that's part of your job. You got to do your homework. Everybody knows that Keeneland mile on a 16th short stretch. Yeah, and, and that was uh that was a mile and an eighth. So yep. the, the issue is, I'm guessing, you know, I don't want to put thoughts in his head or whatever, but the mile on the 16th and the mile on an eighth start at the same place. Mm-hmm. The mile and the sixteenth, you just go once around, short stretch finish. Mile and an eighth, you have the sixteenth, and then you go around. So, I mean, we all get it. We've all made mistakes. There has to be some repercussion, though, right? Yeah, I saw somebody. I keep saying on X or whatever because everybody on X is out of their minds most of the time. But um, <laughs> they were saying six months to a year. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think it should be like a. I don't even want to say 30 days. Like, I don't know. It's such a, it was such an obvious mistake that it's like, it's hard to almost punish him. It wasn't like he pulled up the last, you know, 25 yards. I mean, he literally stopped riding for the last, right when he crossed the first finish. So I don't know, maybe a couple, I don't know. What happened? I saw Didn't Rosario do it a couple years ago. I mean, well, so Rosario thought, uh, he thought there still was more left of the race. So basically it was a short stretch race and he got penalized because he hadn't really started riding for, you know, all the marbles yet. Uh, Cause he thought there was a 16th to go. Yeah. I saw an article about that. I, I mean, when, when it first happened and I didn't, I, I ate, I, I bet the two, so I was live to the two chalk. So I was totally out, you know, down the backside. I knew I wasn't winning. Um, but you know, immediately after it's like, oh my God, how could this happen? And, and I said a year and that was definitely overzealous. I mean, th- this is not a year suspension situation. I mean, in the light of day sleeping on it, I think a week and some fine or whatever jockeys have to do when they do wrong makes sense. Um, you know, I mean, a week for a guy like that is it's, it's his livelihood. Like I, a week paycheck would sting me for sure. He should have to pay. The, honestly, he should have to pay the fine to the trainer. He should have to pay the trainer. <laughs> well, the owner. owner. Yeah, that, well, the owner that, might get – the owner's a little stiff. That might be a little bit too much. I mean, I guess he calls the owner <laughs> the race too. But, the, I don't. I mean, I didn't even look at who the trainer was. Was it Well, the, that, I mean, the trainer's two for 97 lifetime. That's uh, so over brutal. six at Keeneland. I mean, you know, that, that clearly – I mean, you would think – probably is going to make a difference um the the difference in you know his cut people have said the horse keeps his condition i guess that's worth something yeah that's why it's like that's one way to look at it keep your i mean because if you look at that race that was the favorite was the 12 the dallas stewart horse it was like oh for 30 i don't know if you're gonna find an easier yeah i don't know if that's gonna happen again but i mean I feel bad for the jockey, but, and then on Twitter, I'm sure you saw my tweet. Everybody on Twitter had the nine. So the horse was 28 to one now, going into the gate goes off. At I don't, to one. Everybody I don't agree with, if you're a fan of racing, you don't want to see that though, whether you bet the horse or not. No, it's not a good look. It's like, does this happen in horse racing? It was like, it's like in NFL when the chiefs get every single flag, when it matters, it almost looks um, <laughs> a little, uh, you don't want to think things are rigged. Like you're going to think on November 5th when the blue wave hits? Well, we live in a red state, so yeah, I don't know if the I don't know there. if the blue wave, the red wave is going to hit you. And I, it's, uh, you're I've just hoping. Hit. Yeah, it's it's everywhere. The red wave is everywhere. Mm-hmm. Well, the Breeders' Cup's about to be everywhere is for a nice little segue. Uh, what are we, two and a half weeks away? Really, I mean, other like we see the Grays going to the dirt, dirt mile. Substantial is out. Um, I mean, really, the classic is kind of the same as when we talked about it two weeks ago. 
Yeah, the only the only thing is with Caesar Gray, the speed. I guess if he would have run in there, I mean, yeah. he's not even really that fast either. If you look at his Preakness win in his uh, Pennsylvania, he went like didn't he go forty eight forty nine in the Preakness too? I know he went like forty nine for the half. And yeah, the, he uh, can get brave when it goes his way, but that yeah. Was, so I don't know even if he was play. in that race if he would have been a part of the pace unless he was gunned. So I guess without him, hypothetically, you lose a little pace. But I don't think the race like changed dynamically. I guess who gets in now? Is it even an overflow field? Does anybody like get in because? Nah, I mean, there's more than 14 contenders, but I, I don't think it's there, there's yeah. not going to be a scrum for the 14th spot. Like, hey, the dirt miles possible, a good race. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I totally disagree with it as like this Breeders' oh. Cup championship race, but oh, it's dumb. You know, if if you get 14 on a big day, like, yeah, that's great. I'm I'm gonna play it. Obviously, well, aren't the two biggest races of the year going a mile? One turn races, the uh, Met Mile and the Cigar Mile. I know the Cigar Mile, but I feel like those are the two miles. They're one turn miles, so I don't know why yeah. the Dirt Mile. Like it doesn't have any. It's just a bunch of misfit horses in terms of not being able to go to six furlongs or a mile and a quarter. Uh, although to be fair, this year and next year the Met Mile was not one turn. Turning it. What is that? A turn and a shoot. <laughs> turn and a shoot. Turn and a shoot. <laughs> but shoot I mean, yeah, turn. I know you're right. I mean, it's not a. It's not a no. deciding race, but no, I don't know where the Breeders' Cup. Um, it's got it's a lot of them are wide open. I'm just waiting for Idiomatic. That's my I'll yeah. That's uh, two to one, I, five to two. I don't. Here's my struggle. I mean, you and I obviously very smart, astute handicappers, but I don't you know that? anyone. I don't know anyone else who's excited about like they're excited that Torpedo Anna's running. And it's which it is exciting. It's great. She's a superstar. I don't know anyone excited to bet her. Like Idiomatic is so very clearly the choice over her if she's not favored. But what happens if Idiomatic's the favorite? It depends what her odds are. If they're like vying two to one, five to two, but if Idiomatic's like eight to five, seven to five, I mean, that division outside of those two, I mean, I don't, I, is it a Japanese horse coming? I think yeah, it's pretty awesome good. rules. Awesome yeah, ruler. So you have a Japanese horse. You got Raging Sea, who sucked up to win the uh, personal instant after that massive um, suicidal pace collapse that Idiomatic right. was involved in. So, I mean, I don't know. Dare Manners retired. So, like, outside of those two, I don't really – in the Japanese horse, I don't know how – I don't know. Maybe she's maybe she is 7 to 5. And if she's – I don't want better. It's, and she's not involved. I don't think she's involved in the um, – I have it right here, the pick five. I don't think – because I would lean on her in, like, those kind of bets. But she, mm -hmm. that race is well, – She'll be in a pick five, right? Oh, yeah. I always forget the classics, like the fifth race of the day. She's <laughs> race six – Classics race eight, so she will be involved in a big one, obviously. Because like I would keep forgetting the classic is like four races before, well, not or and um, they still have the option uh, until they actually draw the races to move them around. Like the classics locked in because of TV, but that's been a big debate in horse racing. We're running run classic. No, running these stakes races like New York, for example, has been running oh, great yeah, threes. I, like I it's the it. second race when nobody's even paying attention yet. Hate it. I think you did. You tweet about that. Were you one of those people? I said something. I think it was because of the spinster with idiomatic. I said kudos to Keeneland not running this as the fifth racer earlier, just because you have a one to ten. Yeah, I mean, if you got a six horse grade two and you put it as race two i'd rather have it in the pick five the late pick five it adds more like it's more exciting than a 10 horse twenty thousand dollar star allowance race yeah 100 percent uh, like to me a grade one i mean on these superstar days when you have four or five of them okay one of them has to be early i guess but when you have one grade one on the car, that needs to be in a feature position. I, I agree. Sorry, it was a random rant, but I know we. Nah, were, I saw people talking about like where to place races. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't well, know. Well, I'll be interested to see the what the stewards do with Juan. What's I, your I prediction? Uh, what's that? What's your prediction? Uh, I'll say three days. I was gonna say five, one week. I bet he gets one. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't know. It's such a, I feel bad for the guy. I'm going to be honest with you. Like uh, it's blatantly I, I his too. fault. I mean, like it's part of your job to know what you're doing. You, you probably were sitting there for 45 minutes in the room waiting for your race, 30 minutes. Like you got to know. 
But well, it's, it's the last, so he couldn't even. And I mean, you played sports at a much higher level than me, but you know, when I effed up, I like being able to get back out there or doing yeah. something. That was yeah. the last race of the day, oh, so like he had all day and night to think about it. I know, and God forbid he got on X or something like that because you uh, know, you, like, that only makes you know it worse. He did. Yeah, that only makes it I mean, worse. I would have. Got, <laughs> speaking of um, speaking of long, and he is active here. on there. I mean, he's not like in the mix a lot, but he was retweeting stuff the, the day of and day before, so that. he's on there. Speaking of him, he's got a. Um, when are they going to decide with his big horse? Uh, I mean, yes. I guess they don't have to decide for you know until the Monday of Breeders' Cup week, but I'd go to the Classic over the turf. I would too. Horse. There's no, there's no way in heck I'm running on the turf if you haven't run that horse on the turf against what will be there probably. And I mean, I know the American horses aren't great. I mean, but the Euros are probably. No, than yeah, us. I, I know people are saying, "Yo, we know he can go a mile and a half." And I mean, look, <laughs> he wins Horse of the Year though if he won the Classic. I, I would. I mean, unless Fierceness wins the Classic, if he won the yeah. turf, he'd he'd be Horse of the Year. But it, yeah, fierceness, no, fierceness. He's the only. It's it's crazy. Like usually, I would say there's, I don't know, three or four horses that control their own destiny. I mean, granted, most of them are in the Classic against each other, but it is wild that I mean, in my mind, literally, Fierceness is the only horse who, if he wins, is Horse of the Year without a doubt. Yes. In that race, he is the only one. I, unless I'm, we're forgetting. I mean, somebody. I think he's the only one. Period. Uh, yeah, I get. Like uh, we've talked about this. If he lost, and if Torpedo Anna won the distaff, she would probably get it just based she on her name it. recognition. On her name recognition, but I agree with you. But I, even I mean, let, let's say a horse like Next wins the Classic. That he's probably the other one that that would be enough. But if Torpedo Anna won the distaff, especially if she did it impressively. It would be close. It would be close. But I think fierceness is just – he's got to get an outside post, but we can worry about that later. Yeah. Well, and I would say, I mean, like we said, he's faster than sees the gray anyway. So, you know, how much does it matter? And Arthur's right. Not a lot. But to me, fierceness in, in this spot is – it's very reminiscent to me of American Pharaoh in the classic. Like if, if he's ready and primed for his best effort – Go to the front, like. Well, and you and you have to think the way he's. Been I play cat and mouse. If you're the best horse, just go. Yeah, unless somebody's like you know just on an epic mission, like Arthur right. White or somebody's absolutely winging it. But yeah, no, I agree. Especially given what is a Travers end of August, he's got two and you know nine weeks or whatever it is, ten weeks or whatever it is. Yeah, he's gonna yeah. be. He's gonna be all amped up. He'll be ready key. to go. I'll keep, I mean, I think he's the most, eh. I'm, honestly, eager to, just, I'm eager to see what they, what people say about the Japanese horses. City of Troy is going to be too short. So I'm not, I mean, he, he can beat me. I know that, but I just, I know I'm not going to want to bet him. I'm not going to want to bet forever young, to be honest. I'm not Del Mar's. I think Del Mar's ter, uh, dirt course. I mean, I don't know. This, yeah. It's kind of a, no, it's, it's kind of a it's fair. short stretch. Short stretch. Yeah, short. I mean, just short stretch and just play. I mean, it plays the speed. There's no. The thing with Forever Young, and he, I'd almost think I'd rather have. I, I don't know. In when they were, I don't know. I think Sierra Leone might be. He's shown a little more speed lately. If Forever Young's in this like drive and he's wide on the first turn or like, I don't know, the way he runs kind of like it seems like it takes him a minute to get going. I don't feel like Del Mar is a track you want to take to get going. Right. Because it's pretty speed favoring. And I I think of, you know, sort of the, the breakout Pacific Classic performances we've seen through the years, Beholder, Flightline, uh, like if you it's take horses control, that hit the lead, right? You take control of the race and you just blow the doors off them on yeah, the turn take, and you're gone. Control. Yeah, no, yeah. I completely agree with you. And that's why and I like fierceness. Forever Young isn't, isn't going to run that race, but fierceness. No, can. but maybe he's really that good. I just, I don't know. I, and I'm just, I don't like horses that have that running style. So we'll see what happens. But I'd rather have him that's, even further back. Yeah. But he kind of, I don't know. Uh, He's such a good horse to key in like third or second. A captain obvious like third, just 
Yeah. He's he's got to turn a foot. It just takes him a while to get going. Like and he's got to run straight. Right. But it takes him a minute. Who's Good riding him? Jimmy. Who? Who's riding him? Pratt's riding him. Uh Saez is riding Highland Falls. Okay. Yeah, he went for I mean he kind of has to. He rides everything for Chad Brown now. Right. No, I I probably would have and, and I mean, who knows? Because I would think Coolmore is interested in fierceness as well. I can't imagine both would retire to stud. I haven't seen that fierceness is going to be retired because the commissioner, Mike Rapoli, is like big and running horses longer now. So maybe he'll like maybe go like the Pegasus and Dubai World Cup or something if he runs well. Like keep him. In. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't. Like if he runs well, like why would you not go for like a $3 million race and then a whatever? A, Fifty million dollar race, whatever the Wells races yeah. are now. Uh, well, I mean, even if you, the Saudi Cup instead of the Pegasus is. Big oh well, yeah, yeah, one mile and an eighth short turn. To and I mean, if he were to run well at Del Mar, especially like say wins, Breeders' Cup's there next year too. So, you know, knowing that you're going to end a year somewhere, you've already won and shipped out to, which you did Santa Anita last year, I see as a positive. I can, well, they haven't announced it yet, but he also bred that horse. So I don't know if that has a little bit more to do with things. Like he didn't right. breed that horse. And they haven't announced it yet. So the Ed Toss is not in play. Not in play. No. Not the Ed play. Toss, for those unaware, if they make a stallion announcement before the Breeders' Cup. Uh, just, How many have won? The only one I, I can, and I want to do a little research, I have to use my uh, Kung Fu search capabilities, but. Yeah, how do you do that? Cody's Wish is the only one I, I remember. And granted, that was last year, so it is recent. But it, it's it's a good angle. But I'm, that was always the plan for him, though. Like, I don't know. I feel like they announced that. They were like, all right, he's going to run this race. Whitney didn't work. He's going there, there, and he's done. It was like domestic products. Like, all right, we're done now. The horse you made. Like, we're done now. We're after this race. We're done. I mean, flight line. You know, they dangled the carrot out, but knowing what I know about the, the connections and the farm, um, and I don't mean this critically, it's just, you know, they after weren't 20 years, you get up. to understand their patterns. Like, they, they knew in October he was done after the Breeders' Cup. Like, I am 100% yeah. important to that. No doubt, but they dangled the carrot, they waited, and he ran like he did. And, you know, you could say, well, he was never losing that race regardless of when they made the announcement. But I would argue... If they had made it before the Breeders' Cup, that could have been a tip-off. He wasn't going to run that race. Uh, so One day we'll have a full show, in my opinion, on flight line when I want to make everybody upset, but we can do that another day. No. Well, he'll, uh, he'll have babe. Well, when are his babies? Next year. Yeah, so there's yearlings for – well, we'll find a reason to bring it up. Uh, yeah. We can do it one day, flight line versus secretariat. <laughs> I mean, why don't we do the 27 Yankees versus the 95 Braves? Like we can do things. LeBron versus Jordan. We can do LeBron versus Jordan while we're at it too. LeBron versus Jordan is closer than Secretariat and Flightline. Yes, way closer, but it's always the the goat debates. Mm. Bid's my goat anyway. Who? Spectacular bid. Oh. I don't have a goat. I haven't been alive that long. I haven't decided who mine is yet. <laughs> I mean, he, he, I, I guess he ran the year I was born, but I don't remember. That's fair. That's fair. All right. Well, next week we'll talk pre-entries. Is that 28th? Wednesday they come out. That's what I'm – What I don't – tomorrow's the 18th, and it's so – yeah, okay. Uh, Yeah, 23rd. 3rd, yeah, 23rd, yep. All right. I'll be looking forward Pretty to good. it. All right. It's the Prince. I'm Ed. Picks at horseracingnation.com for all his insight. And then just horseracingnation.com for mine and everyone else's. Uh, good luck out there.